Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the mysteries of the ancient world and the secrets of the cosmos. In this episode, we will dive into the legend of King Solomon's ring, also known as the Seal of Solomon, one of the most powerful and enigmatic symbols in history. According to legend, King Solomon, the son of David and the ruler of Israel, possessed a magic ring that gave him the ability to command demons, winds, and animals. He also used the ring to seal his contracts with the spirits and to protect himself from their influence. The ring was engraved with a mysterious symbol, often depicted as a star with six or five points, which became known as the Seal of Solomon. But where did this ring come from, and how did Solomon acquire it? And what is the meaning and the origin of the seal that bears his name? To answer these questions, we need to go back to the very beginning of human history and trace the ring's journey from Adam to Solomon. According to some sources, the ring was originally created by God and given to Adam, the first human, in the Garden of Eden. The ring was made of brass and iron and had the name of God engraved on it. The ring represented the divine authority and the harmony of the elements and allowed Adam to communicate with all living creatures. However, when Adam and Eve disobeyed God and ate from the tree of knowledge, they lost the ring along with their innocence. The ring was then passed down to the generations of righteous men, such as Enoch, Noah, Shem, and Abraham. Each of them used the ring to perform miracles and to fulfill God's will. The ring eventually reached the hands of David, the shepherd boy who became the king of Israel. David was a man after God's own heart, and a great warrior who defeated the giant Goliath and many enemies of Israel. One day, while he was praying in his chamber, he was visited by the angel Gabriel, who gave him the ring as a sign of God's favor and a token of his leadership. David was overjoyed and thanked God for this gift. David wore the ring for the rest of his life and passed it on to his son Solomon, who succeeded him as the king of Israel. Solomon was renowned for his wisdom, wealth, and splendor. He built the magnificent temple of Jerusalem and expanded his kingdom to unprecedented heights. He also had a great interest in the occult sciences and sought to learn the secrets of the universe. Solomon inherited the ring from his father, but he had to prove himself worthy of it. According to one story, he was tested by two women who claimed to be the mother of the same baby. Solomon used the ring to summon a demon who threatened to cut the baby in half. The real mother pleaded for the baby's life, while the false one agreed to the division. Solomon then gave the baby to the real mother and exposed the false one. The demon was impressed by Solomon's cleverness and acknowledged him as the master of the ring. Solomon used the ring to rule over his vast domain and to accomplish many wonders. He summoned and bound many demons and forced them to work for him. He also controlled the winds and flew on a flying carpet. He spoke with the animals and learned their languages and secrets. He sealed his pacts with the spirits with the ring and engraved the seal on many objects, such as amulets, talismans, and coins. The ring and the seal became symbols of Solomon's power and wisdom and were revered by many people. However, they also attracted the envy and the greed of others who sought to steal them or to use them for evil purposes. One of these was a demon named Asmodos, or Sarka, who was the king of the demons and the archenemy of Solomon. Asmodos devised a cunning plan to trick Solomon and to take his place. He disguised himself as a nobleman and befriended Solomon. He then asked Solomon to lend him the ring so that he could admire it. Solomon, who trusted him, agreed and gave him the ring. Asmodos then revealed his true identity and threw the ring into the sea. He then assumed Solomon's form and took over his throne and his harem. He also reversed many of Solomon's deeds and caused chaos and corruption in the kingdom. Solomon, meanwhile, was banished from his palace and wandered around the land as a beggar. He tried to convince people that he was the real king, but no one believed him. He prayed to God for help and searched for his ring. After a long time, he came across a fisherman who offered him a fish to eat. Solomon opened the fish and found his ring inside it. He recognized it as a miracle and thanked God for his mercy. Solomon then put on the ring and confronted Asmodos. He reclaimed his throne and banished the demon. He then restored his kingdom to its former glory and continued to rule with justice and wisdom. He also kept the ring with him at all times and never parted with it again. Solomon died at the age of 80 and was buried in Jerusalem. His ring and his seal, however, did not die with him. They continued to exist and to influence the course of history. Many people claim to have found them, or to have possessed them, and to have used them for various purposes. Some of these were good, and some were evil. 
One of the most recent and controversial claims about the ring and the seal came from Turkey, where a group of researchers announced that they had discovered Solomon's tomb and his seal in 2018. They claimed that the seal was a metal disc with a six-point star and a Hebrew inscription, and that it had a powerful magnetic field. They also claimed that the seal was connected to a secret society and to a state intelligence agency, and that it had a role in the geopolitics of the region. However, their claim was met with skepticism and criticism from both scholars and authorities. They were accused of fabricating evidence, of violating archaeological laws, and of spreading conspiracy theories. They were also threatened and harassed by unknown forces who wanted to silence them or to take the seal from them. The truth about the seal and its whereabouts remains a mystery. Is it really Solomon's seal or a fake? Is it a source of power or a curse? Is it a blessing or a danger? These are the questions that still haunt the minds of many who are fascinated by the legend of King Solomon's ring. Thank you for watching this episode of Celestial Chronicles. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. We will be back soon with more amazing stories and secrets from the ancient world and the cosmos. Until then, stay curious and stay tuned.